Just a brief as we kickstart the mock interview series on our Rustly Analytics channel. Uh, the idea of, of having this mock interview is to give you a real world understanding as to what is expected in interviews in organizations like Flipkart, PhonePay, Ola, Uber, Swiggy, Zomato, Amazon, right? All of these companies which are paying really well at a starting position for, for let's say someone who is who's, who's near to one year of experience or even less than that. Uh, how can he enter those organizations? What is the exact interview for those kind of people? And what is really expected out of it, right? So this is the interview series uh, for the first part where we are trying to target people who are trying to enter this organization at a business analyst level or a senior business analyst level, right? For those two type of roles and what is exactly expected out of it. So I'll just give a little brief so that you understand what to expect in this mock interview series and what exactly happens in these organizations. So the first layer is that you might have a screening round which is let's say a, a hacker rank test where you will be tested on SQL and case studies. Case studies, here it might be very simple case studies around guess estimates, uh, which, which will be there as a part of a hacker rank test. It might have some puzzles also, some arithmetic uh, logical questions to just test your analytical abilities. Post that, you have the first round, which is your technical round. It is mostly around SQL in 90% of the organizations. In fewer organizations, you might see some, some kind of questions around Python. You might be grilled on some stats. Um, at, at a senior level, there might be some addition of your experimentation questions. Okay? So, so those type of questions can be expected. In the next round, uh, right, the core remains problem solving. That is the core and you can watch my problem solving series. So you'll get an understanding of what exactly I'm talking about. Uh, but that is where 90% of the rejections happen. And the core reason is a lot of people do not really have the idea because they've not really solved those type of real world problems. They've built dashboards, uh, they, they've done those things which they've been told to do. So, so you are more like a doer, but you do not understand how do you structurally fit this problem into and th therefore this gap kind of widens uh, and we'll try to bridge this gap right we'll focus a lot on this aspect of problem solving and try to understand what exactly hiring people look out for uh, uh, and third aspect of interview is your resume grilling so there will be a lot of resume grilling of whatever you've mentioned in and out so you need to know a lot of detail of what you put into the resume and, and third is kind of, and the last part is, is the behavioral aspect, right? Uh, that, you know, do you really, are you really a culturally fit uh, to this organization or not? That, that generally happens, right? So in this entire series, I will take one round of, of interview for you, which will have all those four sections and we'll try to cover each and everything. Take care. One help that I need from all of you is that you should raise your hand and say that I am interested to be a part of it. The only thing is, uh, you are trying, you are those person who are trying to switch to these organizations, right? So you, we get the right set of audience. And second, uh, you have to be in, I expect that you are currently in some kind of uh, service based or some kind of product based company and are trying to make it a little better for yourself. Okay. Uh, don't worry if you are struggling. Don't worry if you are not perfect at this point of time. I wasn't when I was at your face, uh, when I was trying to switch from trends to the product companies uh, and you need not be okay just consider this as your practice interview uh, you you are getting to learn you will get a very good feedback um, and don't worry about the audience right don't worry about what they say uh, how you will um, right if, if it doesn't go well what what it will be right just don't worry Wo, there's a very famous kid on 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 insta and youtube that i've seen right Ke mujhe fadak nahi padta. Okay? so just just think about that and, and don't worry and please raise your hand, please ping me on LinkedIn if you are connected or on Instagram or on any other platform that you find even on LinkedIn on, on, on YouTube and let's let's get it rolling. Before that, I will share all my experiences of mock interviews when I was transitioning from Tedens to, to organizations and I cracked a lot of good companies. I will, I will really talk about what exactly was my interview experience all about, how did it go, whether I cracked it or not, what all questions were asked. How did I learn from where did I learn everything I, I'll try to cover on that, but I'll focus on this, this entire mock interview. Okay. So I'll get it started from my end and we'll get it started uh, together. So let's start. Let's, let's, let's do something good.